Sometimes in pictures our skin looks a little rugged or dry. I'm going to show you how to soften out your skin with Photoshop. Alright guys, so this is a quick and sweet tutorial. The actress I have here is Cassandra Leach. She is a friend of mine and a professional actress. I asked her to send me a copy of uh, one of her headshots that is completely untouched by Photoshop so you viewers could get the differences I'm going to make without any gimmicks. So here we go. First we want to duplicate the layer, so we press Command and Control J. And we're just going to reference it and call it Overlay. Now I want you to change the blend mode of this to Overlay. And it creates an interesting effect, but it's not what we're going for at all. Now what I want you to go to is Filter, Other, High Pass. What this initially does is sharpen the image, and that's not what we initially want to do, but what we're going to do is invert it so it actually softens it. So we want the radius between 5 and 9 pixels. I'm going to set it at 6.5 and, and press OK. You can see it's definitely sharper. That's not what you want for a headshot at all. Now we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Invert, and it softens everything. It's a little too much, obviously, so we want to drop the opacity of the layer itself, usually anywhere from 20 to 30%. So we'll try 30. Try a little bit more, just a little bit more, 35. That's good. So it softens the skin, but it also softens everything else, and we don't want that. So it's very simple. You grab the eraser tool, and you take it down to the size of the part you're erasing, such as the eyes, and it gets rid of that effect in the eyes and anywhere else you erase. Now we'll do the eyebrows, other eyebrow, and we'll do her smile, teeth and everything. And then make your brush a little bigger and cover her hair you don't want the hair to be softened. You want everything to be normal except for her skin. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Here's the before and the after. I'll zoom in a little bit for you YouTube viewers. This is after and this is before. And it's subtle but very effective and it can really, really help. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Keep an eye out on the uh, end of this video to see what the next lesson is for Photoshop for touch-ups and enhancements. If you have any questions about touch-ups or enhancements with Photoshop, please send me an email to requestsitmahalo.com, and also please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.